Thank you, Jesus. I want you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. And this atmosphere, forget what is your problem and concentrate on him. Bless you, Lord. All of us here. Just pick a name that calls for me. Perfect submission. At rest, thank you. I in my say, I'm happy, I'm blessed, I'm watching and waiting, looking. I'm filled with his goodness Lost in his blood Blessed assurance Jesus is mine shed physically at Calvary permeate through this place. Let the efficacy of your blood be prevalent at the end of the day, Lord. Your presence will be superimposed over us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's open our Bible to John chapter 9. John chapter 9. 
John 9. Is it possible to come up or I go to? I'm not hearing from the monitors. 11. He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus. A man that is called Jesus. Made clay. And I'll shock you here. And anointed my eyes. I thought you only anoint with oil. He said, A man. His name is Jesus. Made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Shilom and wash. And I went and washed and I received my sight. I was blind, but this man anointed my eyes with clay. The next one, Mark chapter 6, 12 and 13. Mark 6, 12 and 13. Mark 6, 12 and 13. And they went out and preached that men should repent and they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them today i want to talk to you about what i've titled the necessity of the anointing why you need to be anointed can i hear an amen how many of you have been anointed before hey wonderful um Many don't know that a life in Christ without the anointing could make you a useless Christian. Actually, in the Bible, you could look at Jesus coming in Luke chapter 4, verse number 18, and said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. How did he say the Spirit of the Lord is upon me? He said, Because he has anointed me. He was anointed to preach. He was anointed to do a specific an assignment. Now, I hereby will tell you that the anointing makes you or enables you to fulfill your assignment. May God give you grace to finish your assignment. Your amen is not here at all. He said, he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. How? Because the anointing propels you, energizes you to your assignment. Now, most often we look at the anointing and sometimes we go to church and say it's an anointing service. And especially unbelievers will say that you are going for them to take oil and put it on your forehead and so on and so forth. And what would that do for you? Well, I have so much said about the anointing, especially in my book, Palace Protocol, um, this one, Palace Protocol, and this other book, Leper's Grace, and I'm not a good, good. Can you stand? I spoke about the essence of the anointing. And one of the things I'm going to teach you today could be a little bit strange, but you should understand that anointing always must not be done with oil. Anointing could also be done with cocoa butter. Did you hear me? Oh. Matthew chapter 6, Jesus was teaching and he said, When you fast, anoint yourself so that people will not know that you are fasting. That word anointing is talking about smear yourself with oil. Pomade. Pomade yourself. When you fast, be not as a hypocrite of a um, the, um, 
No, give me why he said, anoint yourself. He will tell you that, anoint yourself. So if you are going to anoint yourself, does it mean that you always have to get in quote a priest? Okay, let's we go. But thou, when thou fasted, anoint thy head and wash thy face. So in this case, who is going to anoint you? Please, who is anointing you? I didn't hear you. Who is anointing you? Yourself through what? The power of God. Now you should understand this as a believer, you need to have the act of anointing yourself. And why should you have the act of anointing yourself? That's one of the things I'm going to talk to you about. Now, the Bible also says in the book of Ecclesiastes, let your head lack no oil. Live joyfully with your, the wife of your youth, but let your head lack no oil. Look at this, my head must not lack oil. Now, we know the story also about the ten virgins, and they were all virgins, but the Bible said they were wise and foolish virgins. And we call them foolish because getting to the end of the year or getting the end of their time that they needed to enter into a new season they ran out of oil because when there is no oil on your life your light is automatically reduced now if we're here on Sun, um, I said Sunday, pardon me, on Christmas Day, I taught you from John 1, and I said, when in the beginning was the word, and the word, when you have the word, the next thing the word gives you is what? Life. And after the word has given you life, the next thing the word gives you is what? Light. And then after the light, the next thing the word gives you what? The light, be, or the word becomes flesh. That makes you live. But you see, for the word to move from word to life, to become light, there is a process. Some say there is a process. You are not here with me. Say there is a process. The word must be generated. It must be stirred up in you. To enable you not to lack direction. So, if you don't have um, oil, oil is like um, putting anointing is like let me explain this this way the anointing is like putting petrol in your car your car can be very very handsome and beautiful can be very very robust but without diesel or petrol the car cannot take you anywhere a christian without an anointing is a christian going nowhere in life i thought you say god help me so you need anointing can i hear i need an anointing so now you need a man of god to anoint you i agree to that but what if there is no man of god to anoint you will you die am i talking to somebody here if there's no man of god to anoint you does it mean when jesus met the thief on the cross of calvary <coughs> They couldn't come down to receive water baptism. So, Jesus told this guy that today you'll be with me in paradise. Now, the truth is that should Jesus bring the guy down to be baptized with water before they go to heaven? No. He said today, I omit the water baptism. You are going to make it to heaven with me. Because, ladies and gentlemen, whether we like it or not, some things are necessary for us. But much as there are certain things that are necessary, sometimes you need an extra grace to permeate to certain levels of your life. Am I talking to somebody here at all? Now, if you read our Bible, give me Ruth chapter 3, verse number 3. For Ruth to go and meet Boaz, Ruth 3, verse number 3. Ruth wanted to take an anointing from Naomi to go and meet Boaz. So Ruth, mother-in-law, Naomi advised her and said, Therefore, wash yourself and anoint yourself. Somebody said, wash yourself and anoint yourself. I didn't hear you. Say, wash yourself and anoint yourself. Look at somebody say, ask for forgiveness of sins before you anoint yourself. The anointing doesn't want a life that is not washed. 
That is why the first thing you need before you get anointed is the blood. Someone said the blood. So if you read the Bible, if you read my book, Leper's Grace, it is more explained there. In Leviticus chapter 13, Leviticus chapter 14, the Bible said the leper must bring a lamp and they have to sprinkle the blood on the leper seven times. After which they will sprinkle oil on the leper seven times. Because where there is no blood, there can never be oil. The anointing does not flow until there is the what? The power of the blood of Jesus. Where there is no blood of Jesus, the anointing can never be permitted to wash. When there is no blood, the oil it becomes a chemical composition. So, if you don't have olive oil or bodies oil, whatever oil you have, you can use cooking oil. Some say cooking oil. I didn't hear you. Somebody said, "Ah, I don't have oil in the house. If not, I would have anointed myself." Don't you fry fish? Take some and sanctify the oil. And as soon as you sanctify it, it ceases to be a fry tall. Somebody said, when you are coming to 31st night, bring anointing oil. Where are you going to buy the oil from? When you buy from the shop, it is just oil. Is it true? It's not true. It is when prayer is set upon it that turns the oil to become anointed oil. Okay, let me explain it further. In James chapter 5, the Bible said, Is anybody sick? Let him call for the elders. I'll come back to Ruth 3 3. And then anoint him with oil, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And you have even done anything sinned, his sins shall be forgiven. Are we there? James 5, let's read. Give me verse 14, please. If any, is anybody among you sick, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with what? Oil in the name of the Lord. And then the next verse says what? F 15. Can it be fast? 15, please. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. So the sick didn't get healed because they poured oil on the person. The sick got healed because there was a prayer of faith. May you anoint yourself between now and when the year ends in the name of Jesus. And let me show you this. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. That's what I'm telling you. That the anointing doesn't come upon a head that is sinful. So I went to check. They, they poured oil on me. So I didn't see anything. Yes, you won't see anything. Because the prayer of faith must also enable you to know that your sins must be forgiven. That is why this morning, because of the eternal covenant of the blood of Jesus, every sin is forgiven. Can I hear an amen? If you didn't say amen, you are not part of it. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven in the name of Jesus. So this morning, I have in my hands oil this oil you can get it in town to buy but when i take it and i sanctify it and i pray over it this oil ceases to be an ordinary oil it becomes an anointed oil and when this oil comes upon you your life will be transformed can i hear an amen so ruth thought ruth was told by naomi wash yourselves amen Ruth 3 3. Wash yourself and anoint yourself. The next one, put on your best garment. When the anointing comes upon you, you must have the right frame of mind. Your mindset must be focused. Put on your garment. May you be clothed with the, um, um, the cloth of righteousness. Oh, you don't know. Say, cloth of righteousness. If you read our Bible in Isaiah chapter 61, and if you some part of Romans, you will see that, and even Ephesians, Paul said, put on righteousness like a rope. Righteousness is a dress code. So he said, put, uh, put on a bed and go down to the treasure floor, but do not make yourself known to man until he has finished eating and drinking. The anointing will position you into your season and into your time. May God position someone into his season and into his time. Your amen is no good at all. 
I said your amen is no good at all. Okay, if your amen is louder than your neighbor, your spirit will be activated better than your neighbor. Now, somebody will say that, so why do I need anointing? Now, if you read your Bible, and this is what we're playing with today, first Samuel so chapter 16, God sent somebody by name Samuel to go and anoint somebody, but I didn't mention his name. Today, I don't know your name, but I was there this morning, I was preparing to preach, and God said, son, today, anoint somebody. So today, I am here to anoint somebody. Samuel, hey, can you help me? Samuel didn't know who he was going to anoint. All he knew was that God said, go to the house of Jesse. And when you get there, I will show you who to anoint. Today, I come in as a man of God. And I've come here to tell you that the Lord has sent me to anoint somebody. May you be that somebody. May you be that somebody. If you don't say amen, you are not part of it. And when someone went, had to go, we all know the struggle. First Samuel 16, that someone didn't want to go because someone felt like somebody else must be anointed. Someone had his own preferred choice. He wished that Saul would be anointed. But God had determined who to be anointed based on their heart condition, based on the assignment. The anointing defines your assignment. Just somebody didn't hear me. And today you'll be anointed for your assignment to be unveiled for you. You'll be anointed for your assignment to unveil for you. There are many people who are supposed to be rich. There are many people who are supposed to sing. There are many people who are supposed to do things in the world. And they are refused to do it like Saul. But I can see that God is looking for a David to anoint a David to replace a Saul. All you need to do is to place your heart in the right perspective. And that anointing will come upon you. Can I hear an amen? As for Samuel, he is a messenger. Now, as Samuel got there, Samuel had his own criteria for who must be anointed. The person should look like. The person should have certain grace. The person should have certain stature. The person should have a certain CV. The person should have some prophetic um, um, coverage. But when he got there, God told him that, listen, Francis, do not look at somebody's hairstyle. Don't look at somebody's car. Don't look at somebody's house. Don't look at somebody's age. Don't look at somebody's demeanor. Because when it comes to the anointing, the anointing does not look on the outward. The anointing looks at God's inherent assignment for you. And there's somebody here, I believe without a shadow of doubt, that there's God's inherent assignment for you. And when this anointing comes upon you, it will unleash and release you into the will of God. If for the one I'm talking to, clap your hands and shout a big amen. If I wanted to anoint, I know the first people I will anoint you to be my wife. Followed by my daughter. Because everybody wants goodness and mercies in their house forever. So when God wants to anoint, he hides it. We can all be here and we will anoint everybody. But God knows who he wants to anoint. We will anoint a thousand five hundred, but God knows that there are only six, seven, eight, or ten. And today, may you be a candidate for God's anointing. May you be a candidate for God's anointing. There is somebody that God wants to bless to become rich, but the person doesn't want to hear God's voice. May you be the one to hear God's voice. There's somebody here that God wants to use as an evangelist, but the person doesn't want to win souls. May God be you to be the one to appear. The Lord told me that Francis. Says, today I want to raise an army for 2021 and when this anointing comes upon these people between now and 31st they can never have rest they will be moving their spirit will be stirred up their whole being will be stirred up they will be marching moving up and down so that they will be packaged for 2021 I said Lord why don't I preach this first week in January and said my son by that time it will be too late I want them to be prepared to be armed and ready so that before they enter to 2021, you have been packaged for the season. May you be the candidate that God will choose. 
Am I pre today? I'm not teaching, so pardon me. That's why I'm screaming. So when Samuel got there, they brought him this person, they brought him that person, and Samuel was there. God said, He don't know Samuel. You are a man of God, but you don't know what I want. I don't know what God wants, but I know He has asked me to anoint somebody. I don't know who is the candidate, but all I know that He has a candidate, and that candidate will receive that anointing. There is a bishop rising up here. There's a prophet rising up here. There's an apostle rising up here. There's a general marching up here. There's a major. Am I prophesying to somebody here at all? Now, when they got there, they called all the people who look like. Some of us, till day, people don't believe that God has called us because the anointing doesn't make people look at you as if you look like. I'll get there. Because some people, they look like they are very anointed. When you meet them, if you greet them, um, how are you? Say hallelujah. They look, they look so spirit. When they have been praying, they always remember to pray five hours. The shaka taposa, I bind all the demons. The demon that came on the condo when it was being grinded, I come against it. When we are doing the kinky, whoever saw it wrongly, I bind it. I bind the spirit of the one when you first watch her, and they pray seriously. And you, when you even get the food, you just eat. And they look at you and say, You are not spirit at all. But you see, God doesn't anoint you because you have a spirit of what are you pray to, man. He anoints you because you have an assignment. And I say, Somebody. Somebody here has an assignment. I said somebody has an assignment. I said somebody has an assignment. And when you have an assignment, God doesn't care how many die. If you be alive, there was an assignment on the head of Moses. So when every child was dying, Moses' father and mother had to hide him. There was an assignment on the head of Jesus. So when every child was dying, God had to speak to Jesus. Joseph to hide him and let me tell you this you didn't die you have not suffered because you're on God's radar God has an assignment for you that is where everybody has failed but you are still here but you are still here this morning on God's divine timetable to be anointed for his assignment receive that anointing in your spirit now we all know the story that they called everybody but they didn't call David why because the anointed is not easily seen. May God open your eyes to see those who has anointed. Your amen is not good at all. I said your amen is not good at all. Say Lord locate me this morning. Now if you look at when they called everybody to come. The first thing you realize is that who needs the anointing? The anointing if you, if you are the type that people always leave you behind. You need to be anointed. The Bible said when Samuel came, they caught everybody in the family and they left David behind. Yeah. Let me tell you something I've learned about God. I never come to God as if I know. Because when I do that, I ridicule myself. I always come to God as I'm empty, hopeless, and useless. Because he that is full can never be filled again. He that knows can never know. You didn't hear me all. I said, he that knows can never know. How can you call everybody to be anointed? And you didn't call David. Many have left you behind. But God is about to locate you. When they call the great. They look at your face and they say. You, next time you are not the one. When they call for those who qualify. They didn't call. When they call for family meeting. Actually right now all the family members are meeting. They didn't call you. because As for you, you can't contribute anything. Not even wisdom. Not even money to the table. So they didn't call you. But after the anointing locates you, be getting ready for you to be called to the highest table. Can I hear an amen? amen. Your amen is not good at all. Amen. I want you to hear a bridge amen. amen. Give me a better bridge amen. 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 Look at someone and say, I know why they didn't call me. I didn't hear you. I've told you this before, that when I was young, men of God would travel from Canada, London, and come to my house. And when they come, they'll mention specific names that you put they need. And they'll say, God told them in Canada 
to come and anoint somebody in their family, the person will be great. And me, nobody came to the house to mention my name. And I used to think God doesn't know my name. I go to church. They say 10 people here. The power of God is coming to make you rich. Everybody will fall down. Me alone, I'll be standing. And I say, God, I mean, ah, am I part of it? We'll go to a prophetic service. They'll call this one and prophesy. They'll call all my friends that when they prophesy. When it gets to me, they will jump me. And I said, God, me too. Am I not somebody you can say something to? Him? Now, I didn't know then that God didn't let anybody prophesy on me because I was a prophetic oracle. Sometimes God has to hide you from society so that nobody will take the glory to Him. Be the glory to him be the honor to him be the praise and god knows that if somebody has helped you the person will take the glory if someone has assisted you the person will take it for himself but god has hated a david and that david is about to be brought forth today if you are the one shout i am the one shout i am the one shout i am the one Clap your hands and say, I am the one. Clap your hands, be on your feet and shout, I am the one. Vibrate and say, I am the one. Vibrate your body and say, I am the one. Take your seat. You see, if you don't accept certain things, it will bypass you. <laughs> oh, amen. Oh, amen. Number two, the whole family did not recognize him. Who, who knows you? The funny thing is, that, and I'll prove it to you, that the anointing makes you recognizable. When the anointing is not on you, you are not recognized. Nobody recognizes you. Nobody knows you. Former President Rollins was in prison. Obasanjo was in prison. Madiba, Nelson Mandela was in prison. So when they were in prison, they had prison mates, Abi. The fact that you are in prison with everybody doesn't mean you are all equal. You didn't hear me. <laughs> Nelson Mandela was in prison. J.J. Rollins was in prison. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, yeah, man. Oba Sanjo was in prison. So, the people in prison, if they knew this boy would ever be president, do you think they would not have been special to them? Would they tell them it is your turn? Go and clean the bathroom. Hey, you, you don't respect. We are all prisoners. Oh. We are all prisoners. Be careful when you think that we are all the same. Because I'll say this and I'll say that we can all be classmates. But when it comes to grace, we are not grace mates. There are levels. Oh. You can. When Joseph was in prison, I didn't want to use Joseph because you saw Joseph there is in the Bible. If people knew that this person would be a prime minister one day, I'm sure they will start taking care of the person once the person is in prison. Many people don't know what God is about to do in your life. That's why they treat you the way they are treating you. But some anointing is about to come upon you. I said an anointing is about to come upon you. That anointing that can take you overnight, 24 hours, from one level to the next level. May that anointing drop upon you as the oil drops on you. Can I hear an amen? Put your hands on your head. Say, I receive this anointing. Don't forget, I said it, it's not only oil. Come on, lay hands on your own head. You see, when the prophetic word comes and no pastor wants to lay hands on you, you put one head, hand here, you put one on your stomach and say, I collect them, I take them, I soak them, I consume them, I don't give anybody. The rest can leave the house. I am the only one in the house that the man of God is talking to. He's not talking to anybody but me. Activate your spirit because if your family says no, God can say yes. Yes, we can all be poor, but we are not all the same. Can I hear an amen? I can read your Bible and read the Bible. You read Ezekiel chapter 1. 
and you will hear Ezekiel saying, I was among the captives by the river Cheba. We were all captives. We were all in chains. Our hands were in chains. Our feet was in chains. We were all captives being taken into bondage. But Ezekiel said, even though we were all captives, the spirit of the Lord carried me and took me to the valley of dry bones. Hear me. All of us can be in Anya, but God can take your spirit to America. He can take your spirit to the new world. He can take you to the new thing that is about to happen. A new breakthrough is coming and God can take your spirit there. Joseph was in prison but could tell somebody that very soon, within three days you are going to get out of prison and when you get out of prison, remember me. Joseph knew that that prison was not his permanent location. Your present location is not your permanent location. I tell people, this is the lowest world rate you can ever be. If today you have this poor, this is the lowest poor rate you can ever be. If you are the one I'm talking to, put one hand on your head, the other one on your stomach, and say, I collect them, I take them, I receive them, and I'm not giving anybody. Amen. Amen. Look at what say, I am among the people. Read it. Say, I was among the captives by the river Cheba that the heavens were open and I saw visions of God. Don't joke with a man who has visions because even though Jesus was born in a manger, even though Jesus was in a manger, he rose up to become a king. The fact that you are born in a gutter, you are born in a choker, you are living in a single room, nobody values you. You don't even have a mattress to put your head upon. And you look at those who have houses, those who have mattresses, you don't have a limo, um, limo, so you have a limo seen and you look at yourself and they think you are nothing I can tell you something an anointing is coming upon you put your hands on your head oh. take them by force receive them by force and don't give anybody Even in a manger, wise men were looking for him. Great men were looking for him. I said something for you on Christmas that I put on my Facebook about six, seven years ago. I said, don't think that because nobody wants to help you, you will not release your potential. Jesus was born in a manger, but a wise man didn't mind where he was born. A great man, people don't mind where you are born. They will come and locate you where you are born. It doesn't matter where you are. If they are buried you under the water, they are buried you under the sea. They are buried you in poverty. You are surrounded with a curse. The yoke is broken because of the anointing. The yoke is broken. May the anointing today break every yoke. Your amen is not good at all. I say your amen is not good at all. The anointing will break every sickness. The anointing will break every yoke. Will break every power of darkness. I send against you. Receive it now. Amen. Oh, amen. Go to social media. I have, if you, if I wish you have my password, my page on Facebook, I have over almost 300 and something Yale friends request. As soon as somebody's name is Yale, uncle is Yale, Wafa is Yale, they send me friends request. Because if they, there's a yale who is doing well by the grace of God. But if you think that I was a useless yale, people will give me first request. No, 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 no. Ah, and hear me. When this anointing comes upon you, great people will look at others and say that I know I'm in my family member. Meanwhile, you are not family members. You, he doesn't know you anyway. Say, me and your brother, we go to school. That is the problem. Me and your sister, we go to school. May that grace come upon you today. I say, may that grace come upon you today. Shout, this is my portion. Now, hear me. The anointing, when it comes upon you, doesn't care if people don't believe. Even the father didn't believe in him. The father. The father. Can I surprise you? Even Samuel the prophet didn't believe it was David. It doesn't matter whether the man of God believes in you, your father believes in you, the bank manager, the lawyer believes in you. If God decides that you can be anointed, make sure you get the anointing on your head. That is all. 
Samuel prayed to God that God, can you change this person in this house? I have somebody who oh, is very good, oh God, forgive him his sin, oh he has messed up, oh but God, can't you do anything about it? Can you just forget it? And, and God said, No, I have found somebody. Hey, I found somebody. He's a man after my heart. He will do what I want to do. And God is looking for somebody. I sought for a man and I found none. The Lord told me, Francis, then the vision is so big. There are so many vacancies, and I'm going to rest with you to fill in the vacancies. Some of you are about to sign million dollar checks. I feel some of you will sign million dollar checks. Some of you will build church buildings. You will buy cars. You will buy buildings. You look at a church member and say, Man of God, this your son is serving so faithfully. So I bought a house in Trizaco for him to go and stay inside. If you are the one I'm talking to, put your hands on your head, collect them, receive them, and don't give anybody. Come on, give him a mighty clap off in here. Like the lepers who forgot. That they were once leprous. At the year, my refuge, good living brings forgetfulness. Many have forgotten where they used to be and where God picked them. But the Lord is telling me, Francis, we are getting to the last ten before I come. My coming is so short, and I need an army to enter the world, irrespective of the cult, irrespective of the evil. And I'm going to anoint people today who will raise the finances, who will raise the pillars, who will empower people to go there. And I can see like 24 people already. That God is handpicking. If you are one of the 24, jump on your feet, put your hand on your head, tap your stomach, and say, I collect them, I receive them, and I don't give anybody. You can take your seat. Oh, Kaba Seeker, can you speak in tongues? <laughs> a bit. Can you pray to the Lord a bit? Stir your spirit up, even as we pray. Ah, the center of it all is you that I see. Is you that I see. Are the center of it all is you that I see is you that I see there is power in your name ha! miracles happen in your name the anointing is here as we lift our voice in praise. Is you that I see? Is you that I see? Listen, don't mind those who think you are not qualified. It is God that qualifies the disqualified. First Corinthians chapter 1 says that you know your calling, brethren, not many wise not many noble accord but god chooses the foolish some people say you are so foolish eh? you are so much a fool look at you the way you are serving are you such a fool now god the bible said that he is the one that chooses the foolish things eh? the base things the non-lentities the articles of no use some people think they are too wise but god is about to pick somebody to make their foolish wisdom foolishness may god appoint you today can we go on? Can we go on? Are you sure? Amen. When they brought David, someone looked at the boy. Head to toe. He doesn't have a car. He doesn't have a house. He doesn't have an armory. He looked at other people. They are, they are being paid. 
They are in source army. They are being paid. They look when they came. You see their three piece suit with their shoe, their watch, their designer belt, their ring. You see that this is a human being. I remember one day we invited a man of God. We were then in Mamprobi to come and preach. And he saw one of my pastors who was well dressed, Pastor Ernest. He called him. Said, You, the Lord tells me you are a rich man. So I see it off like today's man, 50 Ghana. <laughs> Later, the guy agreed. After the service, he came to him, Daddy. Did the man of God see well? This is my suit I borrowed. He didn't see well. I said, Okay, I'm your father. I can't say your debt for you. Because you did it out of the ground. I said, Yes. I couldn't be embarrassed, but the truth is that that amount is saying, I can't leave it. You see, sometimes men of God prophesy by your attitude. They look at you and say, Looking at your dressing, the car you came to church with, you are rich. So the ushers look at the people who come to church and say, This one came to church with. This car pens. <coughs> he has money. They call you forward. Can I have water? <coughs> they call you forward. When they call you forward, then they say, Ah, this person, hmm, your perfume, you are rich. You want to spray it in your neighbor's room. But that is not how God locates people, He locates your assignment within you. Pastor David, get me water quickly, quickly. He locates your assignment within you. <coughs> and when he locates the assignment, nothing on your outside can determine your inside. Lift your hands and begin to pray. Lift your hands and begin to pray. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. The devil doesn't want you to hear what you are saying, but you hear it. God. Let's pray to God. Pray to God. Keep praying. Amen. Now let's go on. The devil is a liar. Can I hear an amen? amen? Don't change the scripture where you are 12. When the boy came, he doesn't look like. Look at someone and say, Don't look and judge me by what you see me today with. Now prophesy to someone and say, I'm going to change from today. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. I said, I didn't hear you. When the Lord was showing me this vision, I saw a church member. Let me do it right now. And somebody just called her and gave her a car. I don't even know whether she's in church. But if she didn't come, maybe somebody can take it. Ma Vera, where's your daughter? Edna, where is she? Is she here? Is Edna in church? Oh God, who wants it? Take it, why? When 
the Lord was speaking to me about this. She, I saw somebody giving her a car. First, the person said, take this car and pay. And she said, me, I don't have money. She said, ah, okay, take it. And whenever you get money, said, then she told the person, I still can't get the money. The person said, okay, you take it. If you want that anointing, it is in this room. Receive it now. Take it now. Collect them and don't leave room out of it. It's a simple one. Anointing, she, she, she. If she's watching on social media too, she can also be covetous. But hear me. Receive what is yours. You are not here. Hey? I remember one day I was preaching in my mom's church. And I said, a lady, I called a lady. And I said, she's going to have a fashion house. Machines and everything. They look at me and started laughing. She was a prayer warrior. She looked at me. She has a way she laughed. And there was a lady who was sitting somewhere. She collected the thing. After three months, testimony time, this lady came and she said, I prophesied that she will have machine. I said, me. I don't remember. I said, ah, man, I don't remember. That day when you said it, I was in church. When the lady laughed, I was sitting down and I collected it. Do you remember that that day when you closed everything, I can't you put money in your pocket? I said, I remember. I said, Appa. He says, what happened? He said, it is that day that I collected it. Let me tell you, when things are being released in the spirit, just like the Prince of Persia, we stood it. People can intercept it. And when things are being released in the spirit, you need to be very smart to make sure that you take what is yours. Can I hear somebody say an amen? Are you here? You've gone home. That guy came. He didn't look like. He didn't look like it. And one person, if you underrate me, you'll be disappointed. The day I got first five years visa, I wrote it on my status, it is well. And both sent him a message and said, Man of God, are you okay? I have five years visa, but on my status, it was written, it is well. And people assume that it has not worked. That's why I said it is well. Because I don't have to be in a three-piece suit to be anointed. I can be playing football. Ask those who play football with me. And you get wounded. And you want to go and sit down and I need you to play number five for me. Your, your cut will cease. Your blood flow will cease. Your wound will disappear. So that we will win our match. And I'm talking about anointing that doesn't determine whether you are in suit or you are not in suit. I'm not talking about anointing that when you are asleep and they come and wake you that somebody is dying, you say, I'm coming. I want to charge myself before I come. No, you don't need Holy Ghost, doesn't need charging. The Holy Ghost battery doesn't die, it is always active. God is working 24-7. So, right in this moment, may the anointing locate your head. Let the anointing locate your head. Now, when David arrived, the first thing you notice is that when you are located for anointing, people who don't even value you will rise up and salute you. The Bible said, when they brought in David, he was ruddy, with bright eyes, good looking, and the Lord said, arise, anoint you for this is the one. Arise. His father had to rise up. His brothers had to rise up. Anybody who was standing in the queue, taking what is yours, may the person be disappointed so that you arrive and take what is yours. No, you didn't hear that one. Do you know that that anointing could have easily gone to Abinadab? If they have easily gone to Shama, the prophet was about to pour the oil and God said, it's not the one. Till David arrived. And when David arrived, the Lord said, arise and anoint him. Even the prophet had to get up. The father had to get up. The brother had to get up. From today, people will see you and salute you. Your amen is no good at all. I said, your amen is no good at all. The American ambassador will look for you and salute you. I thought I'm talking to somebody here. May you be saluted wherever you are. Receive the salutation of the Lord. 
when Gabriel greeted Mary, she said, what kind of salutation is this? I don't deserve such salutation. Why are you greeting me like this? It's like you are there. And people who don't respect you start coming and say, yes, sir. Oh, yes, please. Said, ah, what is wrong with you? Oh, please. Do you want me to do anything for you? You know why they are doing that? When David was coming, I'm sure his brother would say, <laughs> how are you? We greet you. Because they have realized that if God said there's one person in the family, and all of them have not been chosen, and it's the last person coming, he's a likely candidate and a lucky potential. All of a sudden, I'm sure someone will say, how are you, David? You look nice today. From today, people will speak kindly for you. Your amen is not good at all. People will speak, people will recommend you when if you are not available. The police will gossip at your back, will be the one that will be clapping for you. I tell you people that let this one be the one, let this one be the one. I believe in this one. If you are the one I'm talking to, give the Lord a mighty clap and a shout of praise here. May the anointing locate you wherever you are located. Receive it now. I said receive it now. Not when you go home. Receive it now. Do you know how many people are still at Achia looking for anointing? A anointing is not Achia. Achia is you, you go to the mountain to stir the anointing. The anointing is not received by fasting and prayer. The anointing you see is, is imparted, imparted to people. And today, I have been sent by the Lord to anoint somebody. It is not a mistake that you chose to come to church and preach today. You shall be anointed. Say, I receive it. So the first thing that will happen to you is that you will be seen. Some say, I will be seen. I didn't hear you. I will be what? I will be what? Yeah, you will be seen. David has been playing guitar harp in the bush. Nobody knew it. But all of a sudden, a king in another location, who has been rejected, is then said, I need somebody to play guitar for me. Who can you find? And somebody said, I know somebody who is in the bush. If he comes, then he said, there's somebody in the city. Then he says, there's somebody in the palace. All of a sudden, God created a desire for the need of what David had. There's something you have that nobody recognizes. And until somebody needs it, you will not be called for. If the king did not need somebody to play the guitar, David will still be in the bush. If Pharaoh had not had a dream, Joseph will still be in prison. And right now, when the anointing comes, upon you. What will happen is that the thing you do and nobody buys, the thing you sell, nobody wants, the thing you do and nobody respects, nobody values your words. All of a sudden, somewhere, God creates a vacancy there that nobody can fill in the gap but you. Ah, somebody is about to be seen. May the anointing cause you to be seen. Ah, speak in tongues, please. Say, I want to be seen. I want to be seen. Why is it all of a sudden? The says, The Bible says, An evil spirit of tormented soul. And they said, You need somebody who plays drums, keyboard, bass, lead. We need somebody who can sing. We need somebody who can pray. We need somebody who can do this. We need somebody who can do that. They never needed anything like that. Look, God can create a seat for you in the office where nobody would have created a seat for you. That vacancy was never there. Oh, true of us. There was no vacancy like that in the palace. Singing in the palace, guitar. No, 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 no. Are you, are you a parliamentarian? Are you an agri minister? Are you a psychologist? What is the use of a comedian? So that is why you, you crack jokes. And all of a sudden, you crack one joke. And nobody minds you. And they say the king is in sh trouble. And he says he watched one of your jokes. And has decided to come to the palace and give a joke. So that the king will be okay. May the anointing cause you to be seen. Am I preaching to somebody here at all? 
Alpha and Omega. We worship your name. We worship your name. Hi! We worship your name. Alpha and Omega. We worship your name. Now give me seventeen and eighteen of that verse. May the one who will need you look for you before the end of the year. You didn't take him, you didn't receive him. I'll be located. <laughs> or you think me too, I don't want to be anointed. And so said to his servants, provide me now a man who can play well. Listen, something can play well. A man who can who is good, but nobody is asking for you. What to make people ask for you is the anointing. Listen, let's go to verse 18, please. They said something about David. He had all these things, but nobody has ever called him. All his family saw as his value was to take care of good things. Man, 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 was his CV. Verse 18 said, Then one of his servants answered and said, Look, I have seen. May you be seen. The son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in praying, a mighty man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, the warfare, handsome man, the last one, and the Lord with, is with him. Verse 19. And what did he say? Oh, this man has just been anointed. Oh, 19. Therefore, Saul sent a message and said, and to Jesse, and said, Send me your son David, who is with the sheep, Kapodiya Tadibe. You think I can be like this forever? He said, He is with a sheep. He's a shepherd boy. He's a cattle rarer. But today, I am moving him from being a shepherd. To come into the palace. Let me tell you this instrumentalist or worshippers, you can be very skillful, very powerful, but until the anointing comes upon you, nobody will value your play. Me, I know what I'm talking about. Years ago, Pastor David will tell you when we started bridge and I called for a meeting. When they came, they didn't mind me, they came because of girls. When I say, let us pray, they don't mind me. When I say, let us do this, don't mind me. Let's come at seven, don't come at nine, like the way some of you are doing. Then one day I got anointed. Went to do three days dry fasting at Achimata Forest, and I came. When they came, I said, everybody lift up your hands, they didn't mind me. I said, close your eyes, they didn't mind me. I said, Holy Ghost! All of them fell down, pop, pop, flat on the floor. When they woke, I said, everybody lift your hands. What was the difference? First one, I was telling them what to do by my strength. But this time, it was back with the power of the Holy Spirit. And the anointing is coming upon you to show the difference between you then and you now. If you're the one I'm talking to, shout, put your hands on your head and say, I take it, I receive it, and I don't give it anybody. Come here, man. That is why someone said, who took this shot? I want the person who took this shot. I need somebody like that. This kind of shot is what I'm looking for. Why? Why? You take a picture. Nobody calls you for shots. 
Somebody looks at this. Say, who took these pictures? I need such a person to officiate the presidential inauguration. Do we need someone like that to, to, to take the presidential party? And may you be the one. I say, may you be the one. I say, may you be the one. I say, may you be the one. If you are the one, shout, I receive it. Amen. Amen. Now, the next one, are we going? Someone say, I must be seen and I must be loved. Say, I must be loved. Verse 21. The Bible said, when David arrived, straight away, Saul loved him. Hey! Do you know what it means for somebody to love somebody? Me? If let's say that I love you. If somebody comes to tell me that me doesn't respect, I say, and so what? It, it simply means that nobody could bring a case to Saul when it comes to he and David. So David came and saw, uh, came to Saul and stood with him and he loved him greatly. May the anointing cause great people to love you greatly. Are you in church? Are you in church? Are you in church? Look, the family didn't love him. Nobody loves him. Look, you can be surrounded with people and yet they don't love you. You can make everybody one of the, one of the, things, one of the things I'll tell you that I'm anointed. And anointed people can be very lonely. You might think people are around you and they say, I love you. But you don't feel any love. All they say, hey, 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 my God, my God. Mother, when you are there and somebody buys you, see that man of God, you are walking and buys you Range Rover, then say, Ah, Kayo, see, Katabe, Kadeva, he's my little loves. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. So, there is love and there is love. Love with action. So, so Bible said, Let us not love in words, but in action and in deeds. So, the Bible said, And Saul loved. David greatly, as this anointing comes upon your head, may the king of your life love you greatly. Is that all you can do? That is why you are there. Your boss will call you that. Have you gone to America before? Next month, I'm going with you. Get ready. I don't know why, but I'm going with you. Corona or no Corona, we are going to London. <laughs> you are the God. He opens every door. You are the God. He told me. You are the God. Worship your name. Lift your hands for me. That is where you know you are good, but nobody likes you. Good footballers, so, but the coach doesn't like them. There are some people who have been in Chelsea, they've never played one football. Every man they pay them, they've never played kickball. Every man they pay them, 
They say, sack them. They say, no. Let them stay. A new coach comes. Okay. I will use him next match. I will use him next match. One day a coach just comes. He said, ah, why are you sitting on the bench? No. Play number six. He said, oh, coach, I'm always number two. He said, play number six. You play number six. All of a sudden, everybody looks at you and says, hey, is that what you can do? Then big teams start looking for you. Your price begin to go higher. Why? Because somebody came in that loves you. May God bring you somebody that loves you. This anointing will cause people to love you. And if I say people to love you, I'm not talking about ordinary people. I'm talking about great and mighty people. If you are the one say, I take them, I receive them, and I don't give anybody. Say, I need somebody to love me. Yeah. Huh. One day somebody came to me and said, Man of God, <laughs> have you used then then 20 before? I said, What is then then 20? He said, Note 20. I said, Is there note 20? I didn't know there was notes like that. Because the last note I saw was note 8. After that, I've never seen any note again. He said, Take, take this money, go and buy note 20. I said, I should take this hammer. I counted 20,000. I should go and buy what? No, 20. Oh, no. I put it into construction. But how, what can make somebody look at you and say, take 20,000? Go and buy phone. Hey, Fifi, come. Give me my coat. Don't come, come, stand there. What? What can make someone look at you and say, Ah, is it you who have been doing this? And you came walking, and now you both do this thing, and they have mansions. Where's Michael? Where's Michael? Where's Michael? Is he in church? Abia. He didn't come to church. Are you serious? Where is he? Today is his day of visitation. He didn't come to church. What is happening? Are you sure? Is he not at Sunday school anywhere? You mean he's not in church? You came from... He didn't, he didn't come with you. Five days that you've not seen him. Hey, baby, oh. Ah, who wants that anointing? Who wants that anointing? That's what the anointing it wants to be resting. 2021 is coming. We can't leave anything on you want it. Oh. Get. Whoever wants some, take some. Over and Omega, we worship your name. Jesus stood. I've taught you this. And we watched Jerusalem. I said, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how I mourn for you. How I cry for you. Because you don't know your time of visitation. Because people don't know that any time there's an assembly, announcement is made. Such and such people gather. Angels are assigned and put on an assignment to make sure that certain blessings are released. But oh man, we decide when God should bless us. But God is the one who determines when to bless you. If you want this blessing, lift your voice and begin to speak in tongues and tell God our oh God I must be located I have some things I'm doing nobody is seeing it nobody is recognizing it but the Bible says as soon as Saul saw David he loved him not just that 
he loved him greatly. His family said, Goat, sheep. The king said, No, play music for me. <laughs> you are my inspiration. You incite me. You excite me. You make me complete. You drive up a demon from me. If you are not around me in a day, demons trouble me. You are the one I've been looking for. Why? That's what the anointing does. It makes you visible. It makes you loved. The next one. Who wants this one? Verse 21. Oh, verse 22. Okay, let's do 21. He became the king's personal assistant. You see, nobody knows much than the personal assistant. How can a man enter into a palace after he has been anointed? That day, the king loves him greatly. And that day, he becomes his armor bearer. That means if the king will eat, David will eat first. If the king will drink, David will drink first. Nothing goes to the king until it has passed through David. Who wants this anointing? May you have that impartation. Can you imagine the president say that this area of the economy, what do you have to say concerning it? I've, I, I, I have... I don't say it. <laughs> I don't say it. No. It's too confidential. But there are people who bring me things. All I have to do is just read and tell them this one is ready. And they pay me. I just read. And if I say this, if you put it into the system, you'll be in trouble. And they don't put in the system. And the day they bypass me and somebody reads it and they put in the system, it gives them trouble. When the king loved David greatly, he said that from today you will bear my armor. Any armory I'm going to use, you will hold it first. Now, if you're an armor bearer, let me tell you this if you're an armor bearer, what it simply means is that if the king goes to Canada, you go to Canada. If he goes to America, you go to America. Anywhere the king is going, you have to go. Give me Proverbs 16, verse 15. In the New Living Translation. You won't get it well in the King James. Proverbs 16, 15. And that will take me to the next one. Proverbs 16, 15. When the king smiles, there is life. His favor refreshes like a spring of rain. May the king smile on you from today. Because verse 21 of 1 Samuel chapter 16 says that and David obtained favor in the sight of the king. Favor. Favor. I didn't know you favor me this way. You turn my life around. Give me verse 21, 16. Far Twenty-two. Twenty-two. He turned my life around. Listen. So the king sent a message to go and tell the people who didn't like David that, please. Saul sent to Jesse saying, Father, let David stand before me forever. For he has found favor. He's no more returning to goat and sheep life. When the anointing locates you, no Ababa said. One performance on YouTube, you are world class. One performance. Everybody wants you on their stage. One performance. 
skill with that anointing will take you nowhere skill alone is not enough but when the anointing comes upon your skill that king said, hey, this rap guy, no, he's no more coming to the ghetto. We just gave him a house at Agbelimpe. He's no more coming to the ghetto. We have decided to, even though he has not done an album, we have decided to buy him for the next 10 years. He's not even sang a song yet. He's going to remain in the palace with us. He will stand before me. If I'm asleep, he will be there. If I'm awake, he will be there. The king said this. So all along, where was David? David was in the bush. The Lord has spoken to me. There's a vacancy created somewhere just for you. I said, there's a vacancy created somewhere just for you. There is a special seat waiting for you to sit on. If you are the one shot, I receive it. I take it and I not give anybody. Should I end? Do you want more? When the anointing comes upon you, if there are a thousand people, you stand out. You don't go to an audition and they choose others and they don't choose you. From today, you are chosen. As this anointing comes upon you, you are chosen. Amen, amen. The anointing moves you from where you are to where you are going. Note that one. The anointing moves you from where you are. When you come, all of a sudden, you are there in the morning. Something goes here, go here, pass here. Don't go here, pass. It's like something is moving you. Something is being generated in you. Am I talking to somebody here? You see, if you read Paul, Paul said, It is God that causes us both to will and to do of his good pleasure. But when this anointing came upon this man called David, look at what happened to him. He was called to the palace. And from that day, he never returned home. No. The king said, You stay in the palace. Listen to me. And the palace is where David had to reign and be a king. You are about to step into your first level of major breakthrough. I said you are about to step into your first level of major breakthrough. You are about to step into your next level of prayer, a breakthrough. Lift your hands and begin to pray to God. I am ready to step into my next level of breakthrough. George, come to me. Quickly. The reason why I told you that stand there. The reason why I told you that I gave with the, the clay and the oil. So I don't tell him that he didn't put oil on me. No. It's not only oil that is used for anointing. High, high interest in home. A People can't even stand on their feet around here. Who wants anointing here? You see, anointing, come and take anointing. Now you can't take anointing. Now you know what you know. Come and take anointing. I'm a from, I'm a from nonsense. Over from an idea. I collect, I'm a boy, 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 a To be sure he'll cry a boy from. Sure he'll like a crown a boy from. On a crown car. What a bicycle, so cry a boy from. And yet, you can say, when I can, he let me spoil my white dress. You, you are thinking about your white dress. Forget it. You roll left and right center because you'll be the one to get money to buy towels for this place. You, you come as a man of God. I'm going to Italy. I said, what are you going to do? I said, give me the size of the whole auditorium. All the rooms everywhere where there's going to... I want to buy Italian classic towels. 
all white as you wanted and i'm going to ship it and clear it and bring it to you and i'll say oh, who is this one talking and say man of god you forgot that there was oil that was poured on me and it has made me visible it has made me be loved and has made me sin it has made me obtain favor and it has taken me from where i am to where i need to be may you go where you need to be Listen, in Matthew 25, the foolish virgins, they remained where they were. They couldn't enter the room of the party. One of my daughters, one of the days, maybe tomorrow, if she's not, she'll let her tell you a dream she had, where people could not enter into certain places with me because of certain characters and certain behaviors. And she had to follow some particular person. Let the person hold her hand and put her into that place before she came there. And when she came and saw the people were there, she was amazed. Let me tell you something. Everybody look at me. Let me have your attention. Can I have your attention here? May the anointing cause your soul to recognize you and take you from where you are to where you need to be. Listen, if today, come now, an opportunity opens for you to, let's go and preach in London or America. Today, if a church invites you, I can promise you, you will come back with zero money. Yeah, now there's no money in America for preachers. There are no offering. So, the devil doesn't mind delaying you and opening the door at the wrong time. When it's open, what is your use? Listen, if you sing and everybody claps for you, it is nothing to make you proud and arrogant. But the one that will clap for you and hold your hand and put you on the stage and put you in the light for money to come into your pocket, that is the clap you are looking for. You didn't get me. May your life be changed to the next level. It, who said amen? Because some of you didn't say it. I said may your life be changed to the next level. Where is Pastor David? Come and pour oil into this bowl for me. This anointing is going to take you from where you are now to where you need to be. When, I, when we built our old auditorium, one person who never said you've done well was my wife. And one day I went to God and said, God, so my wife will never even say I've done well. I didn't, God didn't answer me. When this project started and was going, my wife, every day she says, ah, you've done well. You are doing very well. So one day I asked her, why? She said, I know your potential. This one was too small for you. This one is the one I know a Francis can build. You see, when... <laughs> if you won't clap, I clap for myself. Don't let the non-lentities speak things into your head and make you think you have arrived because the anointing will take you from the backyard to the front yard you didn't say an amen minister andrew do you know there are people who play keyboard for show and by the time they are leaving they go with five thousand ghana five thousand five thousand five Five thousand. Two hours. Five thousand. He's gone. In a week, he plays five. Twenty-five thousand. Master, when will you people bring some? Receive that anointing. Now, this is what I'm talking about. That anointing that takes you from where you are. Take me to the place. To the secret place. I can lie. You can make me. But if you are still here, come, come. Wrap. Let me wrap you. Wrap me in your arms. Oh, yeah. Take him back. Wrap me in your arms. Take me. Take me. Ask him. Take me to that place. Take 
No when people are telling Esther, you are beautiful. Oh Esther, you are looking good. Esther, you smell well. Esther, uh, no, no, no. Esther wants to meet the king. Esther needs an encounter with the king. It's the king who must look at Esther and say, Esther, I've been waiting for you. Let me tell you this. You are good, oh. But nobody has recognized you yet. That's why. You are good. Oh, fair. The people who say they are somewhere. You've not met the one yet. The person will wrap you. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Can the protocol be ready? Because I just saw some angels with horns. And as these angels said, what they said, some people are praying. And as they are praying, their horn is being filled with oil. And when the oil gets full, he said, I'll pour that oil upon them. And they cannot be comfortable on their seed. And so the angels are started doing. He said, there are some people, as I'm teaching, as I'm preaching, they're already praying. Their spirit is being said. And they said that as they are doing it, the horn is getting filled with oil. The horn is getting filled with oil. And when the oil is full, it will pour on your head. Rub me, rub me, rub me in your arms, rub me in your arms. Jesus, for oh yeah, Jesus, I'm pausing in the right, Jesus. Touch your mind, you because of who you are, we have a tea picture for you. You got the lift up head, tea picture for Jesus. If I bought you for Jesus, if he make me move, because of who you are, and you will know what I'm putting with your marking. No mahame won't go to now say hi ye ye mizi me who ye na ma wo echo nya me wait I don't have time my last point my last point when the anointing comes upon you you cannot be stagnant in life you can't remain with two Ghana cities in your pocket. Your brothers will say, who have you left the few ship for? But something in you will stay. is a kill Goliath. Something in you will tell you that you are bigger than looking for a visa to Togo. All of a sudden, your desire changes. I know one of my daughters, she's here. She was in love with somebody. Hey, love, Pani. She came to brief after I said, what about that? I said, ah, what was wrong with me? I said, ah, why? He said, now it's like something has fallen off my eyes. I said, ah, you are becoming proud. God said, she is not becoming proud. It's the eye of understanding that is opened. Now she can see the world in the light that she has never seen before. You see, when the money is not upon you, you accept everything as yours. This one people say, <laughs> this one people say, hey, Jumai. When the money is upon you, you don't accept useless things. Somebody has given me money before. And I look at everything and say, that I don't like it. So, oh, man of God, you are telling me, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. Why? Why? Because when anointing comes upon you, your life cannot be stagnant. Have you been to bridge? Let's preach for one week or two weeks. And you came to me the church the same before. Oh, God, not bridge. Bridge. 
Even last week when he came, go up, there's a change. Every day there's a change. Every day. Because anointing always has value to you. The anointing will always take you to your next level. The anointing will always push you on. The anointing will always tell you you can do it. The anointing will always tell you that don't accept this low, low thing. Move on, move on, move on. And today that anointing is coming upon somebody. Your marriage cannot be stagnant. Your dreams cannot be stagnant. Your vision cannot be stagnant. Uh, I said you cannot be stagnant. Your brothers will still try to frustrate you. I didn't ask you to take Your brothers. But he has to do it too. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Where, where was I? Don't worry. Where was I? Forgive me. Where was I? Memuyo. Where was I? That, look at chapter 17. He's very said, and go back to the ship. Go. People around you will always refer you to your past. But the anointing makes you forget your past and gives you a new beginning. Anybody who keeps telling you about your past doesn't recognize the anointing upon your life yet. I'm not talking to somebody here at all. Say, I cannot be stagnant. Say, my dreams cannot be stagnant. Say, my business cannot be stagnant. You can't be selling things and nobody's buying. No! No! If it is sell salt, you must be rich. David moved. And something told him, go to the battlefield. His father didn't tell him to go and fight. He's better go and give food to somebody. He goes to give food. He gets there. See the jobbing of Goliath. He said, come on. This guy is jobbing against who? The God in me. Something inside me tells me I will defeat, I will defeat this person. I'm left to every principality that has fought your family. You are the one that is bringing it down today. And you are in a family. Nobody gets up. Nobody prospers. Nobody has a good home. Nobody has a good marriage. But you are bringing that Goliath down. 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 You will be the one to bring that Goliath down. You will be that one. I say you, not anybody. Shout, I am the one. You will bring that Goliath down. You will bring him down. Something inside you tells you it's possible. Something inside will tell you that you can build that story building. Something inside it tells you that you can finish that project. Something inside tells you that you can buy that house. Something inside tells you that you are about to give birth to twins. Something tells you that your marriage is on its way. Something inside you. Keep saying it. Something inside you. Something inside. It's inside you. It's inside you. Can I get someone say something inside me? Take it. Take it. Something inside, something inside. Rakabalia tadebe, lakavesia tadebe. Something inside, something inside. Your brothers will not accept you. Your family will not accept you because your family doesn't recognize the anointing. But you must recognize your anointing. They will not recognize it. They will, they will only respect the fruit of the anointing. But you must respect the anointing first before the fruit of the anointing. If you don't respect the anointing, you will not have the fruit at all. So when they respect you, disrespect your anointing, still respect the anointing. Holy, holy. Lord, you are worthy. This moment I'm honored to sing your praise. King of glory, Lord and mighty, hallowed be your name. And all creation in every nation has it been by your word 
As your will is then up in heaven, let it be done here on earth. As he wants it in heaven, so would it be on the earth. Let it be done here on earth. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Lord and Majesty, Divine Authority. Oil is about to be dropped on some people. Some people's oil are already full, and the angels are dropping it. Anointing fall on me. Come on. Anointing fall on me, and let the power of the hope, let the thing church join us. Fall on me, anointing fall on me, anointing fall on me, anointing. Let your anointing let it fall on me. Come on, and let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. See the now. <laughs> Wait, ask him. Come. You think anointing is not good? You people, you said you did account, eh? When you did all the account, how much money is unaccounted for that you don't know where we got it from? It's 200 and something. 250,000 plus. They don't know where that money came from. They don't. They can't say it came from here or it came from here. But all we know is that this is money we have spent. They don't know. How can Jesus multiply five loaves and two fishes? They don't know. It's been over one month. I told you people, go and find out and come and tell me his accounts. You must find out where from the money. This is not like, okay, we are owing. No, this is money spent that is on our, Okay, what I've spent, you've, you've written my own. What church has spent, you've written. Those individuals who give money, is also written. But 250 something, nobody knows. Over 2 million old cities, nobody knows who put it in, where we got it from. It is not magic. I still told them, I will tell them where the money comes from very soon. But this is what you know that if you look at us as a church and you see the project we are building, you should know that there is an anointing somewhere. There's an anointing somewhere. Touch my hands, my heart, and my voice. Fill my life with all of your power. And let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. I know. The atmosphere has changed. Don't worry. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Come and lay down the bad you have carried 
For in this sanctuary, God is there is a street anointing the sanctuary. There is a stillness. The bad is you of carry for in this sanctuary God is he come on he is he he is he he is here to break the yoke and lift up heavy bodies he is here He is here. He is here. Just do what? Come and lay down. The bodies. The bodies. God is here. Is Pastor Bumas, get me the oil. Careful. To break the yoke. To break the yoke and lift up heavy burden. He's here. What before I touch anybody with oil, talk to him. Just to do what I know he will do for you. Some, if I have my choice, I know that people will pray for you. But he knows your heart. Come and lay down. Lift your voice and pray. Pray crazy. Pray as if this is your last prayer you will ever pray. Those of you came in late, you came in late. You are in the other room because we are about to anoint you. We are doing an anointing service. And we didn't want to let you out. That's why we asked you to come. Is he? He's here. His oil is being poured. Even before I pour oil on some. He is pouring oil already on Sam. Come and lay down. You will be seen. That's what anointing does. You will be loved. You'll be favored. You'll be recognized. You'll be taken from where you are to where you have to be. Come breathe upon me. Talk to him. Bread of God. Breathe upon me. Spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender to your name, most high. That's what you have to do. I am yielding to your spirit. That's what? I am walking 
in your love Jesus I adore your holy name Talk to him, please. When David was in, in the bush and nobody was looking for him, I know the song he was singing. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green as chest he didn't know that then i was going to liquid him he leaded me I still waters for his name he is going with me he needed me. They left him there. But I'm not say you can't be in the bush. For, for all his name's sake, he is name. He was fighting the bear and the lions. Nobody knew it. But he said, I will fear no evil. Because you, the Lord, you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they will comfort me. They will comfort me. They will comfort me. They will comfort me. Your head must be prepared for this oil alone. Your spirit must be prepared. You must be clothed in righteousness. You must be ready for it. He repaired the table. He was prophesying it. He was in a bush. He remember the day he was anointed. He anointed my head with oil. My cup shone oh, 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 So he said, after the anointing, what will happen? Sure, surely, goodness. Mercy will follow me, will follow me, will follow me. Repeat it surely, 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 surely. Shall follow me. Watch it. He will dwell in the anointing forever. The house he was talking about was not an abode, it was a tabernacle living in man. He living in the tabernacle of the Lord. He will be in the presence forever. Hey! All pastors and wives, stuff wait for me quickly. Fresh, quickly, quickly, pastors and wives. When it touches you, go and pray. 
Just don't sit down. Don't talk to anybody. Pray. Pray, 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 pray. This is just oil. But we are going to get deeper. Reverend, carry up. Pastors elect, if they are pastors elect, step forward. Ministers. Ministers, step forward. Listen, if you are not operating as a minister, don't step here. It will kill you. If you are a minister who doesn't work, don't come here. If me, I don't suck you, that anointing will fight you. So you be a minister that is working. Not a minister on paper. By title, it doesn't work. I've seen that anointing destroy many. Because they took something on their head that they don't carry in their heart. To wait, Chef has carry up. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. Go back there. If you go, don't talk to anybody. Don't talk to anybody. Don't talk to anybody. Levi's come. Come and lay down. When they pour the oil on David, he looks like a guy. Some forward. Some back. There is a sweet. Are you all invited? I don't believe it. Are you still invited? You are what? You are what? You are a shepherd. Come. If you didn't come early, come. If you are a shepherd or a minister, you didn't come early. You are what? In this Shepherd. Ah, are you sure all of you are living? Since when? Wait, 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 wait. I know he's here, but wait. When I call for meetings, you don't attend. So how do you become a Levite? Have you seen a footballer who doesn't go for training? And place match. No. 
You sit on the bench of life. Huh? Some of you, I know you are Levites. But some of you, I don't know. I've never seen you before. I don't even know your name. But maybe God knows your name and God knows your heart. Okay. All of you, tomorrow, join the meeting. Tomorrow, come and meet me. If you don't come, this anointing will not work. So go and sit down. If you know you won't be here tomorrow, sir, I will give you a different assignment. Well, Fafa, what kind of hairstyle is this? Wow. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Pastor, you are cutting the anointing. You don't know me. If you like, try me. Hallelujah. Why are you all kneeling down? Is it because you saw one person kneel down? Please be yourself. I don't want anybody kneeling if you don't want to kneel. It's a choice. Give me oil. Sing this song for me. You played it the last time, but I want this one. Um, this one now, Psalm 3. You come to that one you are playing. I want Psalm 3 now. Many are the increase that troubled me. Many are the that rise. God. Many that say of my soul. There is no help for him in God. If I touch you, you can take your seat if you can. I want all the young ones here. David was a young man. Sometimes we need to see pull out of my soul. There is no help for him. in a department get up and come to me you are in a department but you are not yet come for anointing you work in, you are in a department you are a chorister protocol you do something for god please let's do it very fast pastor david give me more oil I don't like it all. Quickly, sorry. I she for me quickly. My glory and the lifter of my if I church member, come quickly. I don't You don't have to check him out, no. And he had me out of his holy heat. You can stand, please. It's not my first thing, you know. I laid me down my step ah. and away for the Lord sustained. He sustained me. For he sustained. I will come. If I touch you, you can take your seat, please. My glory, my glory, and the lifter of my head. Thou 
spoken about that the anointing can do for you I told you what it can make you be seen it can make you be loved it can make you be accepted I touch you can take your seat I lay me down. I cry. I don't do the Lord with my Lord. If I've not touched you, I want me to touch you. Step forward, please. If I've not touched you, I want me to touch you. Please come. touch everybody here. Uh, I Can the children after all be forward? Everybody, stretch forth your hand and pray for these young ones. Do it. A lot of them have potentials we don't know about. David was 13, 17 when he was anointed. He was that young that the oil located him. Now change it to what you are playing, minister. Angels are still pouring oil on people. Angels are still pouring oil on people. When they finish lining up, you tell me. They are pouring oil.
there are about 24 people in this room that is going to experience this horn being poured on them because they are on God's radar for some specific job. Little ones, when I touch you, go to your parents. Welcome to He's pouring oil on people. Give me tissue. say something but I know a lot of you will rise forward so I'm afraid to say it but let me ask this you look at life and all you think about is you want to die commit suicide please come to me right now I want to do something to you all you think about is death because you feel there is no hope for you. Please come to me. Hurry up. Come. Because there is hope for you. Don't forget this three today. for the impartation or you are here as those who wanted to kill themselves what's that happened that process now impartation uh -huh. so let me finish here i'll come to you i want this wave to clear look at me show me some
the glory just came. Church, sing the song if you can pray. Famisie, Famisie, ye ma je kwa ko si se eja huru ye misu wo ma sitne mu. Na set o waji me kwa famisie o anointing kusita can take your seat everybody pray stay Everybody, please be on your feet. David was not recognized. He was undervalued. And when the oil located him, I just told you what happened to him. I don't know which one of these you lack. I don't know which one of these you want. But please lift up your two hands. As for the oil, it has dropped. But the rest is left to you and God. Between now and 31st, you are simply going to stir this oil that has come on you. You are not entering 2021 as a wimp, as a worm, but as a lion, as a warrior. Now, with all eyes closed, all hands lifted, I want you to pray as if this is the last prayer you can ever pray that God let this anointing that has come on me make a difference. And tell God the difference you expect. Lift your voice and pray. Spirit of God. Your word said in first Samuel chapter 16. And when the oil came on David, the Spirit of God remained on him from that day. For me, see For me, see magic. Keep me, Lord. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Keep us in your bosom. Take 
her. Take custody of us, Lord. 2021 is not an easy year. But take us through it. There's an anointing coming on some people even now. The same thing that came on David is coming upon you right now. The same unction, the same unction that came on David and, said, and from that day, and from that day, and from today, the 27th of December. you will go through it your spirit is being stirred your spirit man is being stirred let me so I what my sister you wicked and perverse generation take care of us Lord keep us Lord from As I walked, my sister Nemo showed me so high. She tried to jump in, Kwa. She tried to jump in, Kwa. Rescue me, save me, deliver me. Lord, David found favor, gave me favor. Lord, David was great in love. Let me be loved. David was taken from where he was to his next level. Take me to my next level. Take me to my next level. Pray that prayer, Lord. Pray, Lord, my next level. My next level. I am... I am ready for my next level. I've been imparted for my next level. I've been graced for my next level. Now keep quiet for me. Lift up your hands. Whatever you are doing that will give glory to God. Like David was playing skillfully in the bush and nobody recognized it. May God create a need in the marketplace for you. Whatever anointing, grace, skill you have to change the world. May God create a need in the palace for you. Be seen in the palace. Be seen in the palace. Be acknowledged in high places. Let the king love you. Let the sisters favor you. Let the sisters favor you. Let the law favor you. Let grace favor you. Be favored. Be favored. Be favored. I said be favored. Let your king dream about you. 
May you be the solution for 2021. May you be the solution for 2021. Be the solution for 2021. At your workplace, be the solution. In the marketplace, be the solution. At your home, be the solution. In your area, be the solution. In your nation, be the solution. In your family, be the solution. You will never be stagnant from today. You will never be stagnant from today. In your dreams and your visions, may God direct you to His will before 2021. Lord, let that anointing descend on somebody. Now, please watch it. Some 24 people are about to pick a special grace. Some 24 people. I don't know them, but he knows them. 24 people. 24 people. 24 people. Spirit of God, you know them. I don't know them. Take them 24. 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Pick them up. Now, Lord, bring them forward. Lord, release them. Release them. Release them, release them, release them. Like David, they have the skill. Like David, they have the ability. Like David, they have what it takes. But Lord, they are still in the wilderness. Nobody loves them. Nobody accepts them. Nobody has seen them. Nobody can recognize them. But release them, release them, release them. Let the anointing that breaks yokes. Break every yoke. Break every yoke. Break every yoke. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them, release them, release them now. Release them, release them, release them, release them. It's happening now. He is releasing you. You can't stop it. You, there's nothing you can do. It's too late. That devil knows it. That is too late. You cannot be stopped. You can't be stopped. You can't be stopped. Nothing can stop this. The oil is already upon your head. Oh, David. Oh, David, you cannot be stopped. Oh, David, you cannot be stopped. Actually, creation has been waiting for your manifestation. The world has been waiting for you to show forth that glory. And you cannot stop it. Your sin cannot stop you. Your past cannot stop you. Your nothing can stop you. It is what God had purpose, huh? what he has willed. Twenty-four different people. Twenty-four people. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Pick them. Hey! <laughs> All of a sudden, some of you, joy will fill your heart. Peace will fill your heart. It's not everybody who fall under the power. There's some peace. You're like, ah, what has happened? Some sickness will just vanish from you. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Watch it. Watch it. I can see it like a cloud. It's raining in the midst of the auditorium. It's raining. And I can see crops that were dead springing up again. Crops that were dead springing up again. Businesses that were dead springing up again. Dreams that were dead springing up again. And as the Lord was this day, he said, Did you see the rain? Did you see that the atmosphere has changed? It's because I'm pouring forth rain. I'm pouring forth water on him that is thirsty. For there is hope for the tree. Though it be cut short, yet at the scent of water, it shall bad again. There's a scent of rain you are experiencing. There's a scent of rain for you are experiencing. Because something is parting again. Something is parting again. That dream is waking up again. You are not dying now. Forget it. You are not retiring now. Forget it. You are not failing now. Forget it. Your life just began. The dream just began. Your assignment just began. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
put your hands on your stomach if you are tired of lifting your hands if you are tired of lifting your hands just put your hands on your stomach thank you Jesus 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 release them release them all make them seen bring them to the fore yeah you can't hide again that gift cannot be hidden again that talent cannot be hidden oh Esther you cannot hide oh exactly you cannot hide it man of God you cannot hide woman of God you cannot hide Tabitha you cannot hide Aphrodites you cannot hide you cannot hide you cannot hide you cannot hide again. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Whatever you want to do to thank him. Whatever formula you want to do to thank him. By kneeling, by rolling on the floor. Anything you want to do to thank him. Choose your method. Oh God. Keep thanking him. Keep thanking him. Don't stop it. Thank him. We are still in an atmosphere. Thank him. Amen. Tomorrow, my meeting with pastors, ministers, uh, pastors, and heads of the pattern your executive is going to be in like faction. That's how the meeting is going to be. Um, all the meetings. On each day is going to be in this formula. So when you are coming, prepare. 